Hi students, so now let's look at part 2 of solving quadratic inequality. Okay, part 1 is using graph sketching method. Part 2 is we are going to use number line method. Okay, number line method is also very simple. Okay, let me go through one by one. The first question here given is solve the quadratic inequality 20 minus 2x squared minus 3x less than 0 by using the number line method. So the first step that we need to do immediately will be writing this using the correct form of a function. So meaning that our x squared needs to be at the front. So it becomes my negative 2x squared minus 3x plus 20. Okay, now we don't want our a, okay, this is a, right? a, b and c. Okay, this is A, this is B, this is C. We don't want our A to be in negative form. We want this to be in positive. So we are going to times this whole equation here with negative. So when we times here, automatically becomes 2x squared uh, plus 3x minus 20. Now, here, do take note, the sign will change becomes greater than y because we when we multiply with a negative the sign will change okay so since we already multiplied it becomes greater than now we are going to factorize this okay so i'm going to key in the calculator we have 2 we have 3 for b and then we have negative 20 for c okay so the first uh, answer will be 2x minus 5 and our second one is x plus 4 okay greater than 0 so now we have our factors so meaning that 2x minus 5 is equals to 0 x is equals to 5 over 2 and the other one x plus 4 equals to 0 that means our other value is x equals to negative 4 okay now let's draw the number line so i'm going to use this space here okay okay here we have x and then we have here negative 4 and 5 over 2. now i'm just going to put uh, dotted lines above so that we i can show you how this number line method works Okay, so now we are going to uh, use this function. Okay, so our function is fx equals to 2x squared plus 3x minus 20. Now, we are going to substitute x values and see whether we are getting a positive here, here or we are getting a negative. Okay, so now uh, choose any number, okay, any number more than 5 over 2. So, let's say I choose 3, okay. Let's say I choose 3. So that means 2, 3 square plus 3, 3 minus 20. So I'm going to key in this into the calculator. Plus 3 minus 20. So I get 7. Okay, so is 7 a positive number or a negative number? Definitely it's positive. So I'm going to write here positive. Okay. So that means the whatever values above 5 over 2, okay, is giving a positive answer. Now, choose any number between negative 4 and 5 over 2. Let's say I choose uh, 0, okay, F0. So, 2, 0 square plus 3, 0 minus 20. So, what do we get here? So, we just uh, substitute, that's now all the value, 0, 0 minus 20 we get negative 20 so this is a negative value so here i put negative now choose any number here that is uh, less than negative 4 so let's say i choose f negative 5 okay so here i put in negative 5 plus 3 negative 5 minus 20 so let's see what answer do we get 2 negative 5 square plus 3 negative 5 minus 20. So we get 15. So 15 is positive answer. So we just write here positive. Now we already find the uh, what would the values be. Okay. 
So now, how do we know which one to choose? Do we need to choose the positive or we need to choose the negative? Okay, look back at this, the one you factorize. Is this greater than or less than? This is greater than. So since this is greater than, looks like we have to choose the positive values. So we choosing this and this. So here the answer will be greater than 5 over 2. Here the answer for x will be greater than or less than negative. So all the values over here are less than negative 4, right? So it's going to be less than negative 4. So our final answer is x less than negative 4 or x greater than 5 over 2. So I hope you understand this part where it makes us easy to immediately know whether this range is positive, here is negative and here is positive.